What is up guys, CSX8817 Productions here. I am going to do an unboxing video and a little review for you guys. On, uh, on what I got here. Now, if you watch my, uh, my videos on the HO videos, how I was going to, how I was going to convert my, uh, set to, uh, DCC. Well, this is it. It's now being changed to DCC. This is one half of the things that I got as DCC related. So, uh, I'll explain in the end of this video. So, let's get down to the unboxing. So, here we have, uh, if you watch my previous videos, uh, I went to the Greenberg's Great Toy and Train Show. It's a great time. I ha had fun looking at the trains. Take I took a lot of pictures and I uh, posted some videos. It was out in uh, Edison, New Jersey, and uh, came across this. And uh, you know, I never had a heritage unit on my layout. Plus, it's having to be a DCC engine I need it so I came across to it there's the price that costed me there 175 175 not a dollar and 75 cents <laughs> but uh yeah I mean I picked it up it has a uh, DCC and sound this is uh Norfolk Southern 1065 the Savannah and Atlanta Heritage unit. So, uh, yeah, let's unbox it. So, here she is, the Fort Southern 1065, I'm going to go in uh, full detail here, so, as you see here, it's got the ditch lights, now I test ran this, the ditch lights do light up, uh, it's got your uh, power wiring here, it's got a nice coupler, uh, air brake cables here. Um, yeah, so there's the fully detailed front of it. SNA means uh, Savannah, not to the number boards on the headlight. You got your uh, wipers on the windshield. Now, the number boards light up the headlight does light up on the middle here there's uh the horn the k5loa which uh always has in real life their vents and fans and stuff so on the left side here does uh rock a little bit but it's fine um so on the side here i don't really don't know if these windows here do slide open or not but uh that's a nice detail there the gold numbering 1065 with the uh ns let with the gold ns lettering the gold white and the golden white stripes going across it. Uh, there is uh, Savannah and Atlanta gold lettering. The handrails are plastic. So, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, these are breakable, so I handle it with gentle care. Um, your fuel tank here, and this engine shutoff valves and everything, which is fully detailed. Trucks are fully detailed. And uh, going into the back of it here. So uh, there you can see the numbers 1065. You got the, uh, the back headlight and the ditch lights. They light up. They're, the ditch lights and the head are a little bit brighter than the headlights. Um, yeah, and then there's the back cables, the fully detailed, uh, the brake cables, this, uh, coupler. Now, I see that has a spring on it. This is not like the, uh, this is like a different version of the Easy Mate couplers from my, uh, HO sets that I have. Which is fully detailed. And uh, going to the right side of it. So there's the Savannah and Atlanta, the warning sign and whatnot. There's the fuel tank again, the, the number 1065. Really nice. It is really nice. And Flip it over a little bit here. There's what it is right here. So I know it's upside down, but that's how you know it's DCC and sound value. Because uh, underneath here, right here is the speaker. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I ran this personally. Test ran it on uh, DCC because I don't have the DCC controller for it which I which is gonna come soon hopefully in the next week or so whenever I get around to it but uh yeah I mean it runs it runs good the only problem is that I need to get 22 radius curve tracks because uh you know the engine is too big for the 18 radius curve because I ran on 18 in the radius curve the front end was kind of flipping off so uh yeah I mean it, it idles it was a good idle when I uh run it on the DC controller it kind of did some random stuff like when I slowly move it it'll uh It'll toot the bell and then goes. Oh, I mean, oh, not the bell. It'll toot the horn, like on two short blasts, and then uh, goes to the bell. And then uh, when I pick up speed, a little bit, it'll go like straight to notch eight. So uh, I'm not going to run it on DC because I don't want to kill the decoder that I have in it. So I'm just going to wait. In the next video or so. That I'm going to. Show you guys what it does and everything. With the DCC. Uh, start guide. But uh. Yeah in the future plan. So I'm going to get. Or the controller. 22 radius curve tracks. And maybe in like. Later in the future. My Conroe engine. Which is DC, uh, it runs good and everything, but I'm thinking about converting it, converting it into, uh, DCC. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but that's going to be the plan for it. I mean, just to see how it runs in DCC with a DCC decoder and everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.